No, I never fought him. I trained with him sometimes to, to get him to go in. I'd spar him all the time. And we'd work out, but I never went against him. And then the baddest fucker of all that was there, they were running the cooler of the beer and all the whiskey. Um, Nago was there, and then my bro Frank Valencia. Frank Valencia was incredible, bro. He had 20 fights kickboxing. Didn't even train when the first minute knocked out. He would have been a wicked cage fighter, bro. Fucker's tougher than fuck. He's such a bully and so badass that he's, they cooked him at Phil's Liquors. Phil's Bar. Yeah. He was beating the fuck out of some bottles. He was a door dude there. And uh, Frank Valencia's incredible, bro. He went outside. He said, you guys want to throw blows? Give me a minute. I'll be right outside. Three, four fucking dudes, you know. He goes outside. As soon as he walked out the door, two dudes had two cups of gas. They threw it on him, and that fucker threw a cigarette out. <laughs> we torched him. He rolled around, ran after him, and fell. They called the pigs he lived. Fine. Three years ago, he got capped nine times. He got shot nine times yeah. and lived. His, his left hand now is a little fucked up, you know, you know, whatever, he has got shot, but he said he was fucking running like Michael Jackson, trying to, and those fuckers just, boom, boom, boom. he got nailed, his arms, legs, and still alive. Like 50 Cent, 50 Cent got shot nine times. And he lived. And he don't walk with a limp. He don't walk with a limp or nothing. He just got shot right here. Yeah. His tooth. What did he say, who shot him? So Bato just throwing blows with us. He's a crazy fucker, bro. He's meaner than fuck. Like I told you, he went into kickboxing. And he used to spar with me. He was Segalas, the guy I used to train with. Segalas, that was his son-in-law. Uh, he met Mary like a prima or something like that. Cuñao. Yeah. And so, when we needed a heavyweight, back then I fought at 175, 180. Looking Walter weight? Or was, what's uh, that, middle weight? In back back in the late 70s, early 80s, it was like light heavyweight. 175 oh, yeah. to 180. Light heavyweight. light heavyweight would be that. That was my weight. Well, Frank was about 210, but he's just so mean and so bad. He'd walk in, all right, I'll go fight. I'll go fight so you don't give up the heavyweight position. He'd walk in. I never saw a fight go over 30 seconds, bro. He could just mother and boom, boom, boom. I heard that fucker sucks, that Segala. Segala? He's, yeah. he's the one to train me, bro. I heard that uh, all his students suck. He's a bad little fucker. Back in the late 70s, early 80s, our little camp, we'd travel the country. Beat up all the Chavez. Beat up every... Oh, Chavez was a nothing. Our, <laughs> our camp was more Packer. Oh, yeah? Chavez wasn't... He was still a young dude. Oh, yeah, Packer? I mean, no, I used, we used to fuck up a lot of Packers. Uh, you know, Packer. Mr. Packer? Bill Packer? Yeah. That was, he was our main cop, and then Segala had all the locals. <laughs> we'd go into a boxing fight, it says Tingley, we'd have like five or six of us guys fighting, and uh, two or three of his, you know, and then some vatos from Las Cruces or whatever to make up the fight schedule, you know, but we'd throw blows, you know. It was crazy. Back in the day, ESPN four times. You? Yeah. Um, super fights of the 80s, they used to call it, uh, Super fights of the 80s in Denver and in L.A. Once a month, they'd have a nice card of kickboxing. Because that was the rope back then. Boxing and then kickboxing was the bomb, you know. And uh, now, now you got all these different cages and grappling. And, but back then it was boxing or kickboxing was the whole nine yards. And back then, bro, you know, you used to fucking go over there and fight at these places. And I got pretty famous to this point. L.A. and Denver love a big Chicano. A big Mexicano, you know, like a Morgan, a big fucker. Sanchez, Sanchez. The crowd would be yelling when I'd be coming down the tunnel, bro. Yeah. And I had a black hood with red trim. Mrs. Segala made it for me. She was a seamstress in my little gown. And then I told her to make it where it came up to about here. So you couldn't see my face, you know, the hood, yeah. put it on, and it was right here, bro. Come out. 
bro, getting ready. Sanchez! Sanchez! Fuck yeah, they used to love me in Denver and L.A., bro. I was a big dude in 1981. You know, big old Chicano, they want to... The Chicanada loves the blood, you know? Puros negros and hueros, that's all it was there, you know? And here comes a big kickboxer. So we'd go in, bro, and throw blows and, you know... Get, I used to go and they, and they filmed... They filmed about maybe 10 total fights, 12 fights. But the ones with the good comp were had a little bit of trouble. Or four of them they put on the thing. Some of the ones I fought where I knocked the dude out with the first punch. Remember I was telling you where I was all afraid that Marine was going to oh, kick yeah. my ass. And I threw a spin and boom. Ah, he's on the floor. This <laughs> guy stopped him that time. That fuck was going to kick me. Big old fucking monster. Like a Brian Erlacher except a Negro. Marine. That's what they told me. I'm thinking this son of a... Kill me. I was afraid. Yeah. When you're blue... <laughs> Boom! Now this guy, he was down, bro. Sapo. I thought that one would be on TV. My old man, everybody was watching it when it came out on like on a Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Thursday night, they show the, the super fights. You mean my old man, everybody's gathered. And they kept my fight out. I had about three or four of them like that where, you know, fuck y'all get out this time on TV. They cut them off because there was no comp. They want to see, you know, good, good fights, you know, not just one colossal and then go down. And I thought to me, yo, watch, I'm going to be on. Fuck no, those fucking pussies. <laughs> My mom still has the films, the movies, VCR, oh, yeah? of, those, of those fights. One of these days, <laughs> you'll be a nerd. Put it on, you'll see the crowd. Bitches. Bitches. Bitches like bombs. We used to stay at some wicked hotels, you know, wicked five-star hotels is where they put us up Denver and L.A. Fly in or drive, whatever, and go over there and get a taxi. But you couldn't even fuck them. We could, but I did, bro. But <laughs> here's what the bitches would do that I never knew this, you know, when I was young. I didn't know this. After the fight, chicks are all over, you know, and you're coming down. You're right there walking, going back, you know, getting ready, putting on your towel, however you want. Chicks, bro. Hot bitches. Going oh, like that with their paper. The little paper with their phone number. Oh, shit. A little chicken. Then all over. And then all of a sudden, at the end of the night, 2 o'clock in the morning, we're headed back to our room. We're going to go party in the room now. Oh, we already won. We're going to stay one more night and leave the next day. Walk back to the room. Get on the van or whatever, you know, that kicks you around. You stop. You get out of the van. You walk in, you open the door, three beaches, two beaches, four beaches, five